Hi everybody, just to show you another little demo, I've got this um, blouser in for repair and refinish etc and I thought well it looks quite dull as you can see. So I just started to do a demo, so the last demo I did I used the clear gum wax with the wax additive. So I just thought well before I strip this I'll just uh, show you, like I say it's, it looks like it's all sheen on. They were a bit quite dirty and that so I just give it a quick uh, Fine rubber with some double O double O wire wool. Only fine, I've not touched the finish, it's just took a bit of surface muck off. But I thought before I strip it, I'll show you what it goes like with the walnut wax the walnut wax because like I said last time I did it with the um, clear wax. So here it goes, we'll get on with it so the video's not too long. I'll put some wax on. I had a couple of questions from a guy last night. Um he said, oh, he'd used the additive and the wax, but he'd not got the eye, you know, the gloss finish on it. Obviously, it only enhances what you've already got, but he sent me a picture. His, his stock were really dull and open green. So what I said to him to try it was um, put the wax on, let it dry for about 20 minutes, and then put less of the additive on. So you've really got to work it in and buffet it. And uh, it should be okay. You know, not all stocks are the same. There's not two pieces of wood the same, you know. But if you've got a reasonable uh, finish on your stock to start with, obviously the end product uh, will be a little easier and better, you know. So that's a coat of wax on. But, uh, but you can also do when you when you buff this wax off with the um, wax additive is uh, <clears throat> like the old traditional way when you're using oil and whatever. Once it's off and it's smear free, you can go in with the palm of your hand. I'll turn it the side over because I, I, I did a little bit of a side. I just put some photos on my page. There's a, there's a tape mark there, but you can't see it now, so I've rubbed it away. But when, once you've put the wax additive on and you've rubbed it away and it's smear free, you can go in the old way with your hand and just put a little bit of heat through it and you'll be surprised again how much more it puts on it just by putting a little bit of heat through it from your hand. I say if you put the wax on, rub it in with the wax additive till it's all gone and smear free, then you can just go in with your hand and... That's so you can't see the line. It, it, well, it's there. That's the line there. But I've rubbed it, I've rubbed it away once I, once I took the photos. I just rubbed it away because I've got to strip this stock anyway. So I thought, well, but that's the wax on. So I'll just put some additive on now. This is not my additive. Just four little drops as usual. Cotton pad. Mix the additive in with the wax. Just get that up from under the tape, the way big build up where the tape is. You can always add another spot of the additive if you want. Don't go too mad, you don't need to. This bottle's nearly empty. Be all day waiting for a spot to come down. There you go. And turn it over, clean side, and rub that in. Let's say you can do it a few times, you can build it up, you know. It's uh, yeah, that's gone now. So, if you want, then just go in the palm of your hand, just put a bit of heat through it. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can, it will, it will improve it even more. And there you go. See the difference? Take the tape off. See if you can see the line in this light. See it? That's just one coat. You can build it up and build it up. What I do normally with wax is I put three coats on initially when it's never had anything on. And then I just give it a coat every time I flame my gun. Which obviously I clean it more in the winter than I do in the summer for obvious reasons. But that's it guys. I just thought I'd show you it with the walnut wax on. As you can see, look at the tiger stripes, how much more predominant they are. Oh, the green. And that's with the walnut wax and the wax additive. Any questions, give me a shout. Cheers, bye.